What's up guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Andres Martinez here coming to you from Bangkok. Bangkok City, beautiful view. <laughs> you see that elephant right there? Oh, right there. It's a huge elephant. <laughs> it's like kilometers away, you can still see it. But anyways guys, I wanted to chat with you about something that, you know, it's extremely, extremely important. I label it as the number one secret. And most people are not telling you this. Most, most marketers are not telling you this, but you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. And it's interesting because the more I study marketing, the more I study sales, the more I study, you know, just, you know, as a whole psychology, it all goes down to one thing, one thing and one thing only. Ready? Belief, okay? And that's belief in three things. Belief in the product, obviously, whatever it is that you're selling, and the product could be yourself. You could be the product if you're a coach. Um, number two, belief in themselves. Believe in the ability of them implementing it. And that's something huge because here's, here's the thing. You know, when people buy into an idea or buy into a product, it starts with the belief. It starts with the idea of, of saying, oh, this can work for me. I can definitely implement this for my business, right? I can definitely, you know, have a, uh, the result that you're promising on, <clears throat> you know, the, the, that you're preaching me on. But if there's not even that belief to start, honestly, you won't get anywhere. So it starts with that belief and that mindset of, hey, number one, my product works. Number two, you know, the belief in themselves. And number three, the belief and the ability on anything external. You know, what I mean by that is that there's a lot of people that are like, okay, well, great, the product works, I can see it, you know, there's the proof. Number two, yeah, sure, I can, I can implement it. But three, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, the economy is not well right now. Or, ah, oh, you know, I don't think, I think it'll take too much time, you know, it's, it's like outside of my control. So things that are outside of your control <clears throat> are usually things that stop people from buying into it full, like fully. Now, how many of you have gone through a webinar? One of those webinars that teach you, you know, how to make, you know, millions and millions of dollars or whatever the case and have everything you ever want in life, right? I have to like tons, <laughs> you know, I still sign on to them because, you know, yeah, you, you, you learn stuff in there and, you know, sometimes you, you, uh, you know, go into them and you get updated uh, with whatever it is, but you got to notice this, an interesting pattern. And this will prove, will prove to you that what I'm saying about the belief being the number one most important thing that you can do, believe, uh, um, <clears throat> study and understand in marketing is belief. So how many of you have seen and have noticed that everyone is doing the whole three secrets? I want to teach you the three secrets in this webinar. And the reason why people keep doing it is because it works, all right? And the three beliefs um, are the three secrets, okay? So for example, belief number one, it's about the product or the new opportunity as Russell Brunson calls it. Other people have called it that way, it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, about the product that is. Right, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna teach you secret number one, you know. Let's say someone's teaching you about how to make money on Facebook ads, right, or, or, or maybe start an agency. So the number one is obviously about the course and about the, the, the Facebook ad uh, program. It's like, hey, it can be really, really simple. And then usually what they do, and check this out, is they identify what's the number one, you know, most misconception or most, um, difficult thing that people are in believing about that product because you know any product any service any whatever it is always has like a list of things a list of things of people why it they think it doesn't work right um i hope the pacing around doesn't distract every time i talk every time i do videos every time i'm on the phone with people i'm always pacing around sorry um but yeah the number one belief in that category so as i said is the three beliefs right there's three beliefs that all come back to that one main thing that if they believe that they have no option but to give you money they have no option but to say man this absolutely works and this is amazing right so they normally do the number one biggest misconception or the or, or the biggest objection that they have about that new opportunity or your product the biggest misconception or false belief that they have about the you know themselves why they can implement it some might say you know if you maybe are targeting like you know some older people that might be like oh you know i'm too old for it i don't think i can learn new things i'm not tech savvy and, and, and then they say hey you know anyone can do this my grandma can do that boom they just eliminate it and shatter that, that false belief and then the third is as I said, something external, something to do with maybe something that is outside of themselves. It's hard to control the economy, time, you know, maybe the the the, the money because they don't have the money right now. So you know, you gotta teach them or you gotta prove to them how you can um, 
or how, how they can implement it with very little money. But notice that. Notice when you go through these webinars. Notice when you're learning from whoever it is that you're following. <clears throat> They always do the same thing because they understand it all goes back to belief. Everything goes back to belief, and you'll see. So when you're when you're marketing something, when you're you know promoting your agency, your product, your business, your you know services, whatever it is, you know think of it in a deeper level. You know people get so caught up. You know oh man the Facebook algorithm. Oh you know do I do this headline or this that or you know and, and sure those things you know help you a little bit. They they open small levers of, of of doors. But the biggest thing is when you can hit and you say oh man that is the biggest false belief that people have about it. You know what kind of stories I can you know tell them or show them or or prove to them so that I can completely shatter and they believe that you know it's like you know throughout throughout whatever it is you're always doing the same thing you're breaking down well identifying first what are the false beliefs then you're breaking them down through stories and through you know anything that has like substance of it and then number three, you're rebuilding them with the truth and saying, as I said, in the example I showed you, or I, I said, you know, maybe someone thinks they're, they're too old to implement it. So then they would say, hey, meet Jerry. You know, Jerry's it's freaking 65 years old and Jerry just implemented it and it was super easy for him. Watch his testimonial. And then he'll be like, oh, hey, what's up? My name is Jerry. And like, you know, I was able to implement this like super, super fast. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm no tech savvy. You know, I, I can barely do anything on my phone, but yet I'm making thousands of dollars, you know, and then everyone's like, oh my gosh, like if Jerry can do it I can do it right but it all comes back to belief <clears throat> because if they believe on it they believe they can do it they believe the product works they believe in you they believe like then everything else flows everything else is just like they just become you know more things that build upon it you know like a, like a table and you just keep putting more legs on that um, on that tabletop or whatever it is you know so guys don't be so caught up please 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 don't be so caught up with tactics don't be so caught up with like the next you know shiny object out there understand that people are people and throughout time and in the next 20 30 50 100 years people are going to still have the same psychology of belief right <clears throat> tactics are going to change technology is going to change and, uh, and of course the behavior of people is also going to change but don't be deceived don't be deceived because it's all gonna go back to belief. The the false beliefs or the misconceptions or the objections or whatever you wanna call them, you know, will always end up, you know, switching a little bit. But it all goes back to belief. If people believe wholeheartedly that they, it works, number one, the product, the new opportunity, that they can implement it, and that there's nothing else outside of themselves.